Well, thank you, we've got you inspired to get out there and explore our beautiful worlds. Um, let's continue on that trend. Nestled along the coastline of KwaZulu-Natal lies Richards Bay, known for once having the largest coal exports in the world, which mm. I didn't know. It's now a vibrant town that actively markets a new concept in tourism called industrial tourism. It's a whole huh? new exciting world. Hey. And we sent uh, our nephew, Tsulu, who travelled ah. to the southeast to explore all the wonders that this bustling town has to offer. Industrial. Mm. Yeah. Tourism. Tourism Month is all about celebrating the hidden gems that our country has to offer. And I must say, I'm so excited to be back here in KZN. This time around, we kickstart our adventure off right here at St. Lucia with a boat cruise exploring the Ismangaliso Wetland Park. And I'm told we might spot a hippo or two or some crocodiles. I'm rather excited. Let's go check it out. Emmanuel, you've been working here at Ismangaliso Wetland Park for 16 years now, so which means you must know a lot about the place. I mean, it is a heritage site. Can you tell us a little bit more about the history? St. Lucia is a World Heritage Site. It was declared as a World Heritage Site on the 1st of December 1999. Here in St. Lucia, we've got five ecosystems. The first one is the vegetated sand dune forest, and we've got the marine system. In the Indian Ocean, we've got the lake system over here. Further north, we've got savanna grassland and the swamp area. This area used to be like the, got the lake system over here, which used to be connected to the Indian Ocean, been closed more than 16 years now. Water here is, is completely fresh. As you see, the reeds growing on the lake. Those are the sign of that the water is fresh. As soon as the salt, salt water comes in, all these reeds will die. They can't handle the salt. I've been told we can expect to see a lot of animals here in the water. Is this true? And if so, what kind of animals can we expect to see? You can expect to see the hippos. The hippos, you can find them in the water. The hippos, they feed on grass. But if they like the medium sunny day, you can, some, like especially in winter season, you find them out of the water, basking in the sun. Crocodiles, if it's too cold, you find them in the water. It's too hot, you find them in the water. Sometimes if it's too cold, we don't find them at all, but they can stay under the water for two hours. But the hippos, they can stay under the water for six minutes, and then they come up to breed. first adventure of the day was so enjoyable. I really wasn't expecting to see so many animals. We spotted some hippos, we spotted some crocodiles, although a lot of us were very nervous, but uh, very excited to see the crocodile. So this is definitely an experience worth trying out if you ever find yourself here. And if you're wondering just how big a hippo's tooth is, well, here it is. Day two of exploring northern KZN brings us to Tula Tula, the province's oldest private game reserve. It was once the hunting ground for Shaka Zulu and his people before it was transformed into the game reserve back in 1911. And that is why exploring and discovering it today is so apt as it is Heritage Month. Muzi, there's such an interesting story behind Tula Tula, this game reserve. Can you tell us a little bit about the history? I'll start back where it, our story started. Chaga, our king, the king of the Zulu, he used to come and walk here along the river. He would do some hunting, killing those small antelope that would be his food while he walking with his uh, uh, tribe. So Tula Tula started in the year 1999 to year 2000. We are 20 years old. Uh, we started with the elephant, which there were seven in the time, and also we had some rhinos year 2009. We got a rhino by the name of Tabo. You can see him, how healthy he is, how big he is. So it's showing that Tula Tula, we are growing as we call a private game reserve. We contribute this year, we protect, we don't kill. Elephant won't take them away. Is our babies, rhinos our babies. What animals can we expect to see on today's drive? Hoping to spot the rhino, hoping to spot the giraffe, hoping to spot the elephant if we're lucky. And also we got a general game, I'll talk about the bala, enyala, wildebeest, kudus. I must say, this is the first time I've actually been on a game drive where I've seen so many animals up close. Tula Tula means peace, it means tranquility, and honestly, that is the best way to describe the experience I've had here today. 